Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Man of Hope Thursday Zoom cooking, part of the Black Swan Health and uh, sponsored with the Uniting Church. Um, hope you've all had a good week. It's a lovely day today, nice and warm. Today is a very simple dish. It's it's going to take probably ten minutes. One of my favourites. What it is? It's a, it's a spicy fish um, with a potatoes dill mayo and um chopped onion salad basically uh, the fish is whiting you can use tuna you can use any I, sometimes i use a stronger fish but the whiting was on special uh, so i'm using that so so like i say it's, it's a, the, the potato salad idea is because i had mashed potato last night so i've got mashed potato left Normally people mash potato, they make bubbly squeak, they make patties, they fry, but not me. I like to mix it in a mayonnaise and then that stays cold on the plate and then have a hot, hot dish in the middle of it and it combines. It's a nice summary thing, usually. But um, before we go through everything, I'm going to wash my hands, then we'll have a look at the ingredients, then we'll do the wash the hands again and then we'll start. So two sets, I'm on my, my, um, my mobile chair as usual. We've had a good week this week. Um, we had a, a Men of Hope cooking, um, which was quite interesting. I hope Mike's watching. Yes, uh, Mike, Mike, Mike enjoyed making the scones. I thought, I think he thought he was doing a bit of modelling, you know, in the clay. But no, it all worked out well in the end. We had, we had a lovely soup, and uh, it was a good day. Okay, so that's my hands washed. Let's have a look at our ingredients. Um, I defrosted overnight in the fridge some whiting fillets, which hopefully you can see there. And <clears throat> what well, the rest of the ingredients some mashed potato I had left over from last night, some olive oil for cooking, some oops, some sprig onions, my favorite, the old coriander. Um, mayonnaise, and this is my favourite mayonnaise, it's a, it's a whole egg mayonnaise and it's Hellman's. I think it's one of the best mayonnaises out, um, but everybody has their own preference. My lovely fish sauce. Now in the uh, dried spices, I've got a little selection here, it's like a chessboard. Here we go, what have we got? We've got um, smoked paprika. I have ground chilies. I have some ginger <clears throat> and I have some ground coriander seeds. I also have some cloves of garlic, a little bit of stock powder. I have some dill. I don't know if any of you tasted dill. It was beautiful with fish, it's beautiful with potatoes. It's a really nice salady flavor. I have an old big old red chili. So we're going to make it a bit warm and I'll have a lemon or lime, sorry, you got it wrong. But who am I? I'm just a chef. But okay, so hands still pretty clean there. Miss and plus, as I always say. So let's get our prep done first, because this is, once we come to do this dish, you'll see it, it's over and done in five, ten minutes. If that. So the fish, will leave till last, that can just sit there. The mashed potato is already mashed from last night, so I don't have to worry about that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take my spring onions and I'm gonna chop them finely. Now you can do all four at once, you can do two at once. So I'll just do two. I'll give this knife a bit of a chop. Remember what we said about knives, sharpening, keep your finger behind the hilt there. Knife, bring it down on a 45 degree angle. You don't have to go fast, you can go slow. You're just taking the edge off. When it's funny they say sharpening you. All, all you're doing is taking the bird. Every time you use a knife and it hits the board, it blunts it, it burrs it. That's all you're doing is taking the bird off, really. So, um, so that's all we need. You've got a good steel, it's a diamond tip steel, it's very good. So anyway, nice sharpened. Let's get these spring onions chopped. All my, all my veg. Everything has been washed. 
um, and, and field, okay, just to make the process a bit quicker. Um, so we're chopping up these spring onions. I hope um, none of you have cut your fingers chopping and, uh, you know, if you do learn, like I said, with the claw and the knife away from you, you shouldn't have any problems. But um, if you do have a problem, uh, don't see me, see Gerald. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have a problem. So that's one chopped. We'll do the other two. And beautiful. Not much else has happened this week. I've been a bit excited. I'm still waiting for my mobility scooter. And uh, I think Perth Mobility is fed up with me. I think I'm every five minutes because they're just waiting for the NDOS money to go in. But I can't wait to get zooming around and going shopping and getting down the library and, uh, you know, chasing old grannies and things, you know. Oops, sorry about that. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. That's my um, spring onions chopped up. <clears throat> I've also got this coriander. I'm just going to, or oh, probably half of what I've got in there, I'm going to chop up. It doesn't have to be too fine. Just chop it up. Because remember what I said earlier on when we started zooming? With any herb, fresh herb, cut it at the last moment. Always tear it. Because once you start cutting it, you start bruising it and it will go off very quick. So if you just put it off the stalks and then cut it five minutes, 10 minutes before you want to use it, that's the best way. I'll do a bit more there. And like I said, coriander is my favorite. Um, some people put them in blenders and food choppers and all that. I think they're nice there. You can over blend things, they, get, they go watery, you know, they can tear them to pieces, you know. Uh, so at least this way, and you get the smell, it's really good. So that's the, uh, sorry, I'll move that out of the way and you can see, that's the coriander chopped up. Notice I haven't taken it off the board, it's still on the board with the um, spring onions because they're all going in the same dish. This is for the potato salad. And uh, now my chilli, I'm going to cut this chilli in half. I'm going to cut it down the middle and we're going to de-seed it. And uh, you remember what I said last time? It was a lesson to me that I used to think it was just seed put a really hot, but it's actually the membrane what connects the seed to the outer, it's the hottest part. So you learn something new every day. I'm just gonna scrape this into a bin, not the floor. I bet you'll think he hasn't really got a bin there. But now he's got a cleaner, <laughs> which I have, it's lovely. I wake up and I've got a nice clean, clean house and she makes my bed uh you know oh, what more could you want really good old ndis you know don't need a wife anymore do i oh, i've got a cleaner that's the main thing uh -huh. sorry pat love my wife anyway so with chili we're just going to dice this up and put it in with this this is we'll give it a bit of a bite but it'll also give a bit more color than the green so again i need to chop the chili And if it's a nice fresh chili, it chops so easy, you know? When they're a bit old, the skin gets a bit tough, like humans, we all get a bit tough in the, when we get a bit old. Some of us gain beauty, but, um, you know, uh, not me, obviously. <laughs> so that's that chopped. That's in with our mix there. Now, Close your eyes, Gerard. I forgot to bring the pudding bowl back last week, but I'm using a nice bowl from Minaho, and I'm going to scrape these um, spring onions, coriander, and chili into a bowl. Give them a bit of a stir. There you see them in there. Now, because I've been touching the chilli, I'm just going to wash my hands, otherwise everything I will touch will taste the chilli. And um, I've told you before, it's quite, you know, if you rubbed your eye, oh God, you would know about it. You know, you get, it's not the seed, it's just, it's just the juice. Very hot, very hot. And uh, being the red chilli is hot. And I think when they classify chilies, I don't know if I told you before, 
I can't remember the name for it, but there's, there's 10 classifications these days and, and 10 being the hottest. And it, it's, I think it's a Mexican chili. It's a, not a bird's eye, but it's similar. But apparently if you can eat that, you're God. Because believe me, apparently it is a volcano. And they have these people who do chili clubs and they, you watch them and they go, eat this chili now. And you're supposed to think they're enjoying it. They go, oh, it's lovely. You know, and the bath is on fire. And then the worst thing is, they say you get a glass of water to chill it down. That's even worse because that washes it all over. And you're better off with some milk. But who wants to eat a bloody raw chili anyway? But there you go. So now we've got the um, base for the uh, potato salad there, the potato scrub. Let's get this fish underway. And uh, this is a um, probably. Some of you might do what I'm going to do now. Um, I get a bag. Um, I'm using these uh, easy lock bags. Um, I love these. I've recently started using them a lot because if I want to freeze something, you can write on it in a marker pen, permanent marker, a seal, and they come in all different sizes in the freezer. So, but what we're doing today, we'll open our bag up. We're going to get a um, teaspoon and hopefully what we're going to do now we're going to get the ginger and into this bag I'll take I'll take the, the uh, plastic bit off into this bag I'm going to roughly put probably half a teaspoon of ginger straight into that bag Coriander, ground. Ah, oh, tricked myself here. I haven't taken the uh, the wrapper off. See? I just get my knife. Um, you could use fresh if you want, but the ground ones are better. If you're going to use fresh fresh seeds, you have to toast them first. So you put them in a pan and you dry roast them. You know, so there's nothing wrong with these things. You know, they 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 wouldn't they wouldn't sell them. They were no good. I know the traditionists say, oh, no, you must do your own, blah, blah, blah. But I'm sure behind your back, the old chefs are putting this in rather than doing their grinding. And uh, I know um, Rick Stein's one. He's great. He's, he's, he's all for these sort of products. He does do them with the, you know, with the fresh ingredients. But he says, boy, does it take a long time. And um, these are good. Good old Rick. I like Rick. So we're going to put a teaspoon of coriander in. A good teaspoon. Always put the lids back on when you finish. Keep them tight because they will they, they lose their flavours, their freshness. Uh, <clears throat> I've got hot chilies. Again, not too much of this. It is hot. Probably about a quarter, quarter of a teaspoon there. That goes in. You see what I'm doing? I'm putting them all in this bag, and you'll see why in a minute. And then I've got my favourite, my um, trusty smoked paprika. You can order, use ordinary paprika if you want. I'm using my smoked. I put in one, two, and that just gives that job. That's about two heat, two heat teaspoons full. Keep the jars, you know, you, they're always coming handy for something, you know. Put the gold in there when I go gold prospecting. I usually spoil the one because I never get anything, but there you go. And now I also put in a little bit of chicken stock or fish stock if you've got it. Chicken stock's fine. Again, probably just, just about a teaspoon. In that goes. Put the lid on. Now, pick, your, pick them up. Pick your bag up. There's all your dry goods in there, all your dry ingredients. Pick the bag up, pull it around, roll the top over, give it a good shake to mix them up. And there you have your basic um, mixed goods. Mixed goods, and pick a mix. That we used to get marks and Spencer's. Anyway, so now what we want, we'll put that on one side so you can see. We've got our fish, lovely white for this. I've got skin on. Uh, the reason is, the skin will stop it breaking up too much. This dish is quite quite thin, it cooks really quick, but it will break up if you don't watch it. So where the tail bits are, a nice big bit, 
and then just cut the other fillet into half. So you're getting you're getting roughly that size. If you were going to serve this fish uh, like grilled or, or just pan fried, there's two ways. You can even take the skin off, and when you when you have a fish then with no skin on, you cook the side you're going to present first. So you cook if you want the white top side, you cook that and turn it over in the bottom. If you're doing crispy skin, for instance, you cook the skin first and then turn it over to cook. That way you've got the nice crispy skin, you know? So we'll just cut this fish up quickly. <clears throat> and, and I think we'll, we'll find the weather's changed. It's a beautiful day for this dish because it is, although it's a hot, spicy dish, it's also, because it's got the potato salad, like I said before, it's, it's refreshing. It's a real, real spring, spring, summery, Dish. Um, and it, it's it's not my invention. Obviously, they do it. A lot of people do it. It's, I don't I don't read the recipes for this. It's my own what I like to put in. And that's the thing with cooking. Cooking is all about experimenting. It's what you like. It's not you can read a recipe and you can produce it. You'll go didn't like that. But you might want to just put something else in it, and you'll go well. That's what they should have done. You know. And believe me, so it's what you want to do. It's like, ah, you know, some people go, that's bloody awful. What's his name? Picasso. I could do that. You know, and you probably could. And somebody will come along one day and go, oh, look at that. And you'll go, raindrop. And they go, but look at it. Just look at it. And you'll make millions. Well, so I'm told. Hasn't happened to me yet. There you go. So now we're putting this fish into the bag where we have the spices. And uh, oh. before I show that, I wash my hands because I've got the fish all over it. But I wipe this board first. I think I can hear footsteps. You know what that means, don't you? Oh, uh, go over in a minute. I can hear the dog. Anyway, wash my hands again. Get that fish off. Turn my old trusty walk on to high. Love my new wok, use it for everything. I told you that before, best thing I ever did. Anyway, back to the cooking. So my fish is in that bag. I'm gonna seal the bag. Today we're doing it quite quickly. Often, if, you, if you're doing meat in this way, like you do ribs and things like this, the longer you leave it, the better. But fish is quite easy to do because it's wet and it absorbs quick. Like ribs, you pat it and leave it overnight. So in there's the fish. Just toss it around in the herb, in the spices. Fish is a bit wet, but you want that moisture. You see how it's all getting coated there, in there? That's good. You're not going to get every bit, but you know, you're going to get the majority. Walks on, heating. Got my old olive oil. This was good this week. I think it was five dollars from Woolies. It's Woolies brand. It's a uh, extra virgin olive oil. It's great. You know, you pay a lot of money for olive oil. You know, Popeye had the right idea, didn't he? Getting an olive. Anyway, there we go. We can put the oil in. Popeye, look, no, no spinach for me. But anyway, so we've got our oil in. Not too much. Just enough in the bottom there. And I'm just giving that round. I don't know why somebody got, got me and uh, they say I'm a stirrer, but look at the size of that bloody thing, you know. But there we go, that's what I've got. Anyway, that oil's heating up. So I'm gonna open my bag. I'm gonna get my fish. Box hot. In it goes. Throw those bags away. You can, if you were doing some more, keep it, obviously. Anyway, the fish is in. Yeah, you can see that. I'm going to give it a bit of a stir around. Mm, it smells good. Whilst that's cooking away, I'll come back to the potato salad. So I've got what we chopped before, the coriander, the spring onions and the chilli. <clears throat> yeah, 
in this bowl, I've got my potatoes, what I said from last night. Let's just put some of this in. You, you can do it from um from the start, you know, you could boil up, but you know, I like to use things, you know, well, rather than chuck them out, you know, why not? You know, so just use so that's about a coffee mug full of potato in there with those other ingredients. Give the old fish a bit of a stir. And here we are, back to the potato salad. Mix these ingredients through. Dropping away, oh, they're looking good. I'll show you in a minute. So that, that's it's mixing through there. Just watch your fish, because remember what I said about fish? Cooks really quick. You don't, want, you don't want it to become a paste, unless you're making paste, yeah, fish paste, I think, but that's cooking. Now, I'll get my mayonnaise, and in my mayonnaise, I'm going to put approximately four dessert spoons. One, two, three, four. You better to put a little amount when you're using the mayonnaise because you can always add. You can't take out on a salad like this. It, it, it becomes too watery. Whereas it's still thick, you add. So remember that, boys. You know, you can always add, but not take out. So we mix that through. You see that? Put a colour through there, and it's nice there. Let's have a look at this fish. Oh, she's really done. See how quick this is? It's great. Now, what I'm going to do, get the old trusty fish sauce, and we're going to put in one, two, three, four teaspoons. Bit of a stir. I'm going to put in half a lime. If you've got a, uh, one of those juices, you can do that. I use a fork and then just squeeze it hard and she goes. Don't forget, never, never be trying to taste it because you might think we need something more. So, just on the outside of that, I've got a little bit of juice. Hello. Here we go. Hello, Bo. Hello, my darling. Oh, wow. So that's cooking away. Gonna turn the heat off. The wok. No wok. Well done. Well, you have been studying your wok. Well done. Wok, ladies and gentlemen. Wok. Well done, Bo. <laughs> oh. Right. Now I've mixed that through. One thing I didn't put in, I'm just going to get a little bit of dill. And again, just chop that up. That was good, didn't it, with dill? I love dill. Oh, the fish, is it the fish cakes? No, no, this is just the, uh, what we had, like, you like that one we had, like, the fish stew? Yeah, Beautiful. It was really recommended, really. Thanks, bud. It was beautiful. Come again. There we go, just mix that deal through. Guess what, guys? We're nearly there. So what we do now, get yourself a nice plate, a round one today. Just give that a quick wipe over. Oh, let's just give that plate a bit of a wipe. She didn't wash up, but my washing up is not the best. In fact, it's non-existent, really. I let somebody else do it. That's what gets for. Oh, 
<laughs> Wash it up, bud. No. Anyway, so what I do now is I get this potato salad. I put it in the middle of the plate like that. And I just push it out to the edges a bit, making a little bit of a well in the middle there. Remember, this is like a, like I said, it's a summery dish. So we're pushing that out, push that out. Put a little bit more there. Oh my God. And then we want to um, turn a bit of a white. Let's get rid of that one. I watched three of your videos last night. Did you? Yeah, they were really good. They, yeah. you, you speak really loudly and clearly. Was that um, the cooking ones or the R-rated ones? <laughs> Terminator. They it's got another one. Code eggs, chipolatas. <laughs> oh, you like the chipolatas? All kinds of things. So there we go. Then we've got the um, potato on the plate. This fish is done. Very succulent last night when he did it. He practiced runs it. I don't yeah. practice runs. Don't give the practice. secrets. No, don't give the secrets away. You don't do practice. Don't practice anything, anything darling. Oh, don't know where she comes from. You are gifted, though, no oh. doubt. Thank you, bud. You can come again. Okay. So we get the plate a little bit of a white. And what we're going to do is we're going to get so. Uh, a nice bit of decoration. So we'll have a nice bit of a rose to the side. Made oh. out of tomatoes. I haven't shown you how to do that. But that's a, a nice little rose made out of a tomato. And just to give it a little bit more, we'll put some stems around it like that. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> that's fairly easy to do. It's just a skin of a tomato. You peel it around. And uh You're so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> It's just for you, darling, isn't it? Oh, thank you. You know how I like to keep my neighbours happy. You do. So, uh, let's get rid of this. How simple was that today? And um, so we've got a nice, like, I suppose you call it a fish stew. It's spicy fish, a nice savoury uh, chilli, ah. coriander, um, chives, or spring onions in the potato salad with mayonnaise. And that's it. Thanks, guys. Very easy. Nice and simple. And uh, we'll catch up with you next week. Those of you who are listening, don't forget uh, to contact Gerard about music groups, the walking groups. Next Monday, Men of Hope social group, Huffy and Cake, down at uh, 29 Wando Road. Um, come along. We had a great time last week. So um, look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye.